Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Coast Talk, back with another video, and we are here today, as you can see from the title, talking about Philip Rivers. But before I get into it, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, um, and let's hop into it. So, is it time to start a rant about Philip Rivers? That question been going on my head all week, especially after the loss we just took last week to the Jaguars. I've been asking myself, should we start a rant about Philip Rivers? Now, the only reason I'm making this video is because of the gameplay he gave us last week, the post-conference, and the questions that pop up in my head before the season started. So before we got Phillip Rivers, I was shocked. Um, I didn't know we were getting him at all. I was no, I was seeing if we were going to go for a quarterback in the draft and play through him until you know another person becomes available, or maybe we can go after Teddy Bridgewater or something like that. Um, or probably trade for a quarterback. I, I didn't expect it. So after we signed him, I didn't know how I was going to feel. Um, before we signed Phillip Rivers, I didn't like him at all um, due to the past appearances we met when we met the Chargers. Uh, that playoff game that still plays in the back of my mind. Um, he's just never panned out to be one of the quarterbacks I actually would like to watch. Um, he was a turnover magnet. Uh, he threw plenty of interceptions. And he just never stuck out to me to be like one of the quarterbacks that I would just admire. Um, of course, his stats is there. Um, he's Hall of Fame proven already. Um, he's like top five in most of the quarterback uh, quarterback abilities, stats. Well, on the stat sheets for quarterbacks, he's pretty much top five. Um, so he's already certified to go to the Hall of Fame. Um, when they asked him about his, uh, where, did they, where did they see the Colts? And uh, what, did they, what does he see himself? Uh, he said that he doesn't have anything to prove. So, before the season started and I heard that, I said this can only go two ways. This can go good or this can go bad. So, um, after the first game we played the Jaguars and you see the interceptions he's throwing, I'm like, did we get the Phillip Rivers of old or did we get the Phillip Rivers of old? What I mean by that is, did we get old Phillip Rivers, as in like age is catching up, like him and Tom Brady are pretty much doing the same thing. They're both throwing, they're both playing terrible right now after week one. They're both playing terrible, in my opinion. I don't care about his 300 yards or how he's top three in passing yards right now behind Ryan and those guys, but he played pretty bad. Um, so, or did we get the Phillip Rivers of old, which is old age, or like old Phillip Rivers, which is Phillip Rivers. The turnover prone magnet you know or did we get that one so it's pretty much up in the air for me how i should feel about this and this is why i make the video should i rant i'm going to leave it up to you guys should we give up on philip rivers now now i know it's early and i know it's a bunch of coast fans in my comment sections that's always that's on the get rid of rivers or why did we get him so this is another reason why i made this video because there was a bunch of people in the comment section that don't like rivers Especially after that game, they don't like him. It was a game we should have won. We had the lead. Um, we threw the ball so much, um, and I, I was just in awe. Um, we definitely should have won that game. Shout out to the Jaguars uh, fan base, the ones that came in there with positivity on my last video. I appreciate you guys. And the subs. Some of them subscribed to me as well. I won't call them out because I don't know how y'all fan base get down, so I won't put you out there on the spot, but I appreciate you. Um, so after that game, um, they, all, they also asked Phil Rivers his thoughts on the game. He went on uh, about how he was one-sided on targets, how he didn't uh, he didn't view the whole field, how he would just aim down one receiver and try to get it to him, which is a bad type for him. And he said how he would adjust that. But you expect answers like that from a starting quarterback that has the starting role, you know? You, you, you'd, you would expect answers like that. So I wasn't really sold on his comments about that uh, how he would adjust and try to get better and coach frank came out saying how they should run the football more yada 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 um which is totally the game plan from last year we got four running backs well of course marlon mack went down but we have four running backs we just picked up another running back as well uh off the practice squad i believe his name is darius jackson but we picked him up off the practice squad so we're back with four running backs we have to run the football we almost had 50 pass attempts last week with Phillip Rivers, and nobody was mad because, you know, Phillip Rivers is a quarterback, so he's going to throw the football. But the problem was with Phillip Rivers is that some of the targets was missed, 
And then some of the targets, that were, the passes that he threw were like two-yard passes. They were like wide receiver screens or option plays or or running back screens. It didn't really go anywhere. He didn't like try to hit the target. He tried to hit Jack Doyle in the end zone one time. He overthrew him. And then he tried to hit, I believe, T.Y. Hilton. He overthrew him. Uh, he did a sideline catch. T.Y. Hilton dropped it at the end of the game. It was just bad. So I don't know if we really sold out or should we drop a rant video about Phillip Rivers. But he is on the doc time clock. The time is ticking. We play the Vikings next week. This is a team that just got beat by the Packers. Aaron Rodgers aired them out. Uh, so I'm expecting Phillip Rivers to do the same. This team, the secondary is not that good. Their safeties are good, but their corners aren't really that good. So Phillip Rivers is definitely on a hot seat. I'm going to give him a three-week notice. Three-week notice for Phillip Rivers. And if nothing changes, I definitely will drop a radio for you guys um, because something has to change. Something has to change. We have to get the system right. And this is not new for Phillip because Phillip Rivers knows Nick and Frank. He knows and he, they have a good friendship and they have history. So I know they're buddy-buddy, but something has to click with these guys. Something has to. It just has to, man. So hopefully they get this stuff figured out. But I'm going to give them a three-week notice. Three weeks. If nothing changes... I got you with the rant video because I got it boiled up already. Already got it boiled up in my system because I didn't like him before he got here. And after week one, my conscience was laughing at me. It was laughing at me. I'm not going to lie to you guys because I didn't. it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing to lose to a team that's supposed to be tanking. This team was not solidified to be a winning team. And after week one, they showed that they still can win this game. They fooled us all. They fooled us all on the season predictions and the record, they, they just fooled us. We, we went out there and got exposed by the Jacksonville Jaguars that looks like they're in tanking mode after getting rid of half of their talent or pretty much all of their talent. It looked like they're in tank mode, but they actually beat us. Well, shout out to Gardner Minshew. They, they just embarrassed us. So we got, we, got, uh, we got fooled by the Jaguars. Phillip Rivers pretty much almost threw four interceptions. Uh, two of them didn't count. But... It was just a bad sighting from our quarterback, from our defense, and just everyone in general. So hopefully he gets this stuff figured out. But like I said, I'm going to leave it to you guys in the comment section. Feel free to like and comment. I read all the comments, whether they're good or bad. But I'm going to leave it to you guys. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I have another video dropping later this week about the week two preview. Uh, shout out to the comments that asked me to do it. So I got you guys. And until next time, peace.